Good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Should be a few days after Christmas for you out there viewing. For us here it's Christmas Eve morning. The reason we're actually out here instead of in the house enjoying the Christmas Eve morning here is because we haven't actually shipped in two days. This will be our third and it's because of the weather that's been happening around here. Most of you are pretty aware of that we're having a pretty major weather front kind of across the whole country. Here in South Dakota, it's currently negative 12 at the time we're recording this. And I think it's like a negative 25, 30 wind chill. But it is South Dakota, so negative 30 means things are starting to open back up. And that means we can get our stuff to the post office. Now, how does those three days of not shipping affect our eBay status, negative review, late shipping, things like that on eBay? We'll talk about that during this video. But first, we've got some orders to pull so we can get to the post office. So Let's grab the first few things and get them up here. All right, the first thing we're grabbing is uh, one of the big Department 56 pieces, the Ramsford Palace. So that's clear up here. And I might actually have to put the camera down to get this up there just so I don't drop it. It's a pretty expensive piece. Okay, so we've got the Ramsford Palace piece up here. That's it. I'll put a picture of it up here so you guys can see what that looks like. Uh, that sold for us. It's it's on our Christmas sale right now. We're doing kind of a 15% off anything Christmas. Sold for $69.95 plus shipping. And then we have an unbranded ceramic bridge piece. This little guy right here. It's just like a little bridge. I don't know, not a gazebo. I don't know what you'd call that. It's like a little covered bridge looking. And that one's going out for $7.99 plus shipping. And then we have a Monster High doll going out. All right, so we've got this Monster High Frankie doll going out. We've got about two bucks in here. She sells, she sold for $13 plus shipping. And we got our very first hat going out. So this is the first hat we've actually sold out of here. We haven't had much luck trying to sell hats for some reason. I don't know if it's just inexperienced. We don't know how to list them or the keywords or whatever, but hats just don't sell for us. But this one did today, so it's an A's in Kansas City Royals playoff hat, or Division Series hat, rather. And that one sold for $11 plus shipping. And we have another first. We are selling our very first Barbie today that we listed all the Barbies if you watched the last videos, two videos ago. So Swim and Dive Barbie. We're getting to the last of them. We almost have all of the Barbies listed. And this one sold for $4.50 plus shipping. So it's not an expensive one by any means, but every single one of these that goes out gets us closer to break even. Now we We've got one of the marine trolling motor jacket, trolling motor cable jackets. And we took an offer on that one of $20 plus shipping. So we'll get that in a, just a poly envelope. We'll get it out of here. And then we have a set of two snowmen. I'm going to set the camera down and grab those quick. And those actually sold for $11.99 plus shipping. And then we have another one of our Sunbeam mixer parts that's going out. I guess I haven't mentioned some of these parts are, some of these things that are going out are actually part of the laptop challenge we're doing that we're trying to buy our laptop. This is definitely one of them. We'll get an update on that as far as where our totals are and where we're at with that, maybe in the next video or two. But this one is part of that. That sold for $11.95 plus shipping. And then we have a Lamax Carpenter. All right, so that's that guy. It's a little, little guy holding a two by four, little carpenter piece. And he sold for $7.70 plus shipping. And then we have a little tractor and trailer, a little vintage tractor and trailer we picked up. Okay, so this, this piece here is actually pretty cool. It's a vintage tractor made in Czechoslovakia or Czech Republic or something like that here. It's it's tin, kind of one of the tin press toys. It has a little key to wind it up. This one actually has an operating steering wheel and little gear shifts to put it in different gears. A forward and reverse knob and it's all functional so it's a really cool little antique toy. You don't see them like that anymore. It comes with a little matching trailer. We picked that up at a garage sale for $10 and that sold for $65 plus ship. Yep, this one's going to Canada. So get that carefully boxed up and sent over to them. All right, and then we can talk a little bit about the weather. We've watched a few other YouTubers say, get a hold of eBay. They're pretty forgiving when it comes to natural disasters and weather and things like that. So that's kind of what we did early on. We didn't wait until we get complaints. We haven't gotten yet. We haven't seen our seller rating drop below the top rated plus where we're sitting right now. But we did on the very first day, we realized we couldn't ship. So we did print the labels and packed on the first day. But the very first day, we realized we weren't going to make it into the post office. We got a hold of eBay on their Facebook business page. We sent them a message through Messenger. They responded right away saying it's not a problem. They're aware of the weather issues going on. We had road closings all over the place. 
We still do. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of them closed right now, but they're just starting to open back up. They said if there's any negative feedback or if our seller rating drops or anything like that, reach back out and they'll get it taken care of. They'll get it taken off of there. So we don't know if they're actually going to do that. They're going to follow through on it. We haven't had any negative effects yet. Fingers crossed we're not going to encounter anything like that and we don't have to worry about it. But eBay has given us the statement that they will kind of give everybody a, a pass on this one due to the weather storm or the storm front that came through and dropped the temp dumped a bunch of snow on everybody here for a white Christmas. So, so that should be it for today. We're going to go ahead and get these packed up. We're going to drive in, drop them at the post office real quick, and then we're going to enjoy the rest of our Christmas season. I know it's a few days after Christmas for you guys, but Merry Christmas from us, and we will see you in the next video, which will be after Christmas for us as well. Merry Christmas.